Hey guys, this is uh, I'm Dizzy, or uh, Crazy Sniper is my YouTube. Um, I got to do this tutorial really fast. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rush through it because I only got 15 minutes and I uh, just recorded it and it took about 22. Um, <laughs> so that's not going to work. Um, so we got to do this really fast. Uh, drag your clip into After Effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, drag it onto the comp. Sorry. Um, I'm not even gonna actually God come on. I'm just gonna drag it out, make it real sloppy. Um because I don't want that crap to be in there, but also I want it to look good for y'all. So um I'm just gonna go to uh save it to desktop tutorial um video save. Click render and I will be back okay I came back before it's done just to uh, kinda of fill y'all in on um, this is my first tutorial I've never used any type of recording software on the computer um, so please don't dislike or whatever I'm just trying to help y'all out just leave me a comment say what you did or didn't like you know I'll, I'll try to fix it you know I, don't don't give me any hate crap though I mean unless I did something horrible okay g go ahead I mean, I know my voice is kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, sorry. Um, you keep After Effects up. Go to this again. Go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. Click on Lossless by Output Module. Oh, come on. What are you doing? I want to time them now. Okay, there we go. Um, so you go to JPEG Sequence. Leave it the same. Make sure uh, Caps Lock is on. That makes it go faster. But before you render this out, make sure you save it to a folder by itself because it will blow up if you don't um, save it in a folder by itself because it's going to give you a lot of pictures. I'm going to go in here, click in there, save. Um, and then we're going to click render. So I will be back once again. Okay, I came back before it's done just to uh, let you all know I'm on a time limit again. This is going to be really fast. I'm really sorry about that. I'll uh, come up with another video if you all uh, worked out for you all. Well, I guess if it didn't work out for y'all, that would make sense. Um, so I'm going to, oh my god, I'm going to drag this over here, leave that right there. So that, that part's done. Um, you're going to want to open up Boju. Oh, crap. I've already used this one. This was on the test. Um, leave, 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 leave. Come on. Um, if you have any questions, just message me. I'll feel free to even make a video. Um if uh, it doesn't work out for y'all come on oh my god thank you freaking retarded I'll be back you know this is making me mad oh of course I pause it and it's and it freaking works anyways go to import sequence you want to click on these dots to get back to uh, I guess your computer um, I go to users um, 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 where am I going? Desktop. Then tutorial is the folder I saved it into. You better save it in a folder. It'll blow up. All these pictures will be on your desktop. You'll be pissed. Click open. Make sure there's no black right here. If not, just cut down the frames. Apply. Close. Edit camera. Go to 59.94. That's that's what you use if you render in 59.94. Um, if you render in 29. You know, put it as that. I mean, but you know, I like having. I think it. I think it helps. Whatever. So you want to put on caps lock because it was giving me a lot of problems. Boju was being really retarded. Don't know why, but I put on caps lock. It's supposed to make it render faster, and it works. So I don't know, but um, I'm gonna be back just for the sake of time. It's not gonna take long, but I'll be right back. okay. <laughs> I'm back. This guy just like lit himself on fire. Um, trying to do a alcohol and fire tr it was hilarious it was hilarious um, this is almost done um, it shouldn't have t uh, taken too long but uh, you should go to camera solve oh whoa, whoa sorry let this get done processing track info um, it'll take just a second there we go uh, what, what is it doing now okay go to track um, I, uh, I'm just trying to do this real quick uh, go to camera solve and go to optimize camera pass smoothness and then make sure your caps lock is on again and click start 
and this is going to be really quick. Um, I mean, it just flies. It's it's pretty quick. And all these little uh, crosses are going to turn into little, or not all of them, they're going to turn into little dots. See? Um, and what you want to do is go about halfway through the video. This kind of works because of the tile. It really works really good. Go to Scene Geometry. Uh, how much time do I got? Okay, I got 10 minutes, so um, I'll try to slow it down some. Add coordinate from hint. Go to type. Go to x axis. And x is left or right for you kids that don't go to school and sit at home all day on Call of Duty. But it's alright. It's alright. Um, it doesn't matter if they're blue or if they're yellow or green. I'm partly colorblind. I don't know. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> um, click on. You want to click on ones that are tr almost directly across from each other. You don't want them really close like this, but you don't want them like over here and over here. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So you should, oh, make sure you're halfway through the video. And so, I mean, it's where you want your text at. And uh, let's go with, um, uh, ooh, you click control and you click on this one. You know, try to make them, they don't have to be directly across like this, but you know, I wanted the floor to be a little bit bigger. It works out better. Con uh, you click connect who selected. Add coordinate from him again, and now it's time to now this time let's go to Z axis. And this is up and down. Um, you want it like this is left right here, so you kind of go in the middle, and you're like, oh, you know these workouts good. So let's click on this one, Control, click on the one above it, and then I uh, click Connect to selected. Add coordinate from hit again, and go to origin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then you want to click on one in the middle. This is the most middle in mine. Um, it does. This one doesn't matter too too much, but I mean you obviously want it in the middle. I mean I'm not telling you that for no reason. Click connect to selected. Click update coordinate frame. I click it twice. I don't know why. I click close. Now you're gonna go to add test objects. Look, it's that one. It worked out pretty good actually. I didn't think it would turn out that good. Um, you can just leave that there, click X. It's not going to affect how it saves or whatever because we're going to save it in a second. But, um, you know, it looks pretty good. You know, go through the video. I mean, that's where your text is going to be. So, I mean, yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little to the, uh, it's looking a little to the right down here. But, I mean, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, go to Export Camera Solve or F12 for you uh, short key uh, freaks. Go to Browse. Um, save it wherever you want. I'm going to do desktop so it's easy. I'm going to put tutorial. Oh, get out of here. Tutorial solve. Just because this is the, it's called the solve thing. Um, you go to Cinema 4D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go to scale scene by. Go to 100. Click enter. And it's going to save for you pretty much. So I just minimize that in case you did screw up, you can go back. Oh no, I put it in there. Oh, what a FML. Um get out of here. So that's that. Um so I'm gonna open up uh Cinema 4D. It takes a second for mine to open up because mine's ghetto, but um I don't wanna waste Okay, I did that once again because I have fifteen minutes and <laughs> it's ridiculous for this type of tutorial kind of. Um it I mean it makes me mad how they have that little rule or whatever but uh sorry go to render render settings you want to go put this on 1280 by uh da, 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 720 keep keep all the rest the same just don't mess with that um then you want to go to file open and you're going to go to the camera solver the tutorial solver that's what I saved it as um where is it at? where is it at? oh I might want to go to the T's that would make sense uh, tutorial solve. Click on that. Open. Make sure this is 10 centimeters. Click OK. And it's going to come up with this. From here, you want to go to light, background. You want to double click down here at materials. Double click on the material. Unclick specular. Click on this little down arrow by texture. Load image. And this is where you want to click the AV file. I told you not to mess with the render settings, I think. If not, I'm very sorry, but you're going to have to make sure it's AVI because that's what it accepts. Um, and right here it is. Uh, tutorial vid. That's what I've saved it as. So just click open. It's going to load. Very nice. Click, I'll just exit out. 
drag this up onto the background and then look I mean this is where that ladybug was right there and I mean that's where your text is gonna be you can move it left to right back and forth but that's I mean you want this to be perfect per I mean not perfect close um, so then you go to MoGraph uh, MoText and I'm just gonna type in I'm well dizzy um, and that's really really small as you see so you know crank this up to like 1400 I do it big um, and then you click this little uh, red air or point move it left to right you know you know you know do go to depth and type in like 200 or whatever however 3d you want it um, you can change the font I'm do I'm not doing it um, just to show y'all but um uh, you can double click material if you know how to use cinema 4d you can make your little color um, you know make it look nice and uh, pretty pretty um, but this is what it's gonna look like so far I know that looks really ugly um, how m ooh, 11 minutes ah, th 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 I think I have time I think I have time uh, let's go to flight and then go to floor and you see how that floor is really small you're just gonna click on coordinate and you're gonna make it as big as the text at least from left to right I'd you know just make it that and go to Z and let's go to uh, you know four or five oh, well not both well wow. okay and look that matches exact floor it doesn't matter if it's exact you just want it to be in front and in back of well I said that that was weird and the front and the back of the text so you can see uh, shadows what we're about to do in a second so um, from here what you do is you click the same material you dragged onto the background drag that to floor and it's going to give you this multi picture image you don't want that do you I know so what you're going to do is you're going to right click on floor go to cinema 4d tags compositing and then you're going to go to compositing background you're going to unclick self shadowing and then um, oh, you click on floor and go to um s wow sorry where it's material I'm so sorry go to material under floor and go to f projection and go to frontal and then you render it you can't see it can you and see I don't know why it gives me this crap on the left and right don't worry about it 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 doesn't affect your rendering uh, looks um where am I where am I oh 12 four, oh crap go to light uh, go to light right here. You want to drag it in the front a little. You want to drag it up a little. I mean, you work with this. You get the shadow you want, but this is how I do it. I go to uh, shadow right here. Um, go to shadow again. Then go to shadow maps, which is soft. Change the density about 40. It's up to you. I mean, you'll see what it does in a second. And then we're going to click render. And see, this is see how it's really bad how it has like the D way over here and you can't even tell it's a shadow um, you kinda just work with it um, you can copy and paste the light and move this one you know like to the right let's bring them both out a little I shouldn't be doing this I don't have enough time it still looks horrible um, change the density down crap um, I'll make another uh, video if y'all having problems with this, but I only have a minute left, so I better hurry. Um, go to render, render settings. We already changed this, but um, before you do this, see mine's 656 frames. So you can see that right down here. So go to render settings. Change the from to one. Change the two to oh, 656. Oh, wow. I think it was hope that's right and then you go to save click here sorry I'm trying to hurry desktop you know I want to save this tutorial once again go to tutorial oh no I don't want it to save it to tut let's just do it as tut being retarded save go to format go to AVI and then you leave the rest the same so I mean you're you're good with that and then what you do from here is you click render and it's gonna render and this is what it's gonna look like um, uh, I gotta go and um, please rate subscribe tell me what you like didn't like uh, give me subject or suggestions I will see you later